Greetings. I am Wayne A.I. Frederick, President of Howard University and the Charles R. Drew Professor of Surgery. Sorry I could not be with you for this historic event, but it brings me great pleasure to address you all today at the launch of this vital institution on our campus, the Center for Women, Gender, and Global Leadership. As one of our nation's preeminent historically black colleges and universities, it is Howard University's distinct responsibility to press for equality and justice for all people throughout the world. Our advocacy must be both broad and specific. Howard must champion the rights due to all people and confront entrenched injustices that marginalize swaths of society based on people's personal traits and characteristics. It is this duty that inspired me to join the United Nations He For She movement and champion the Center for Women, Gender, and Global Leadership. This work represents a critical aspect of Howard's social justice mission. Thanks to the generous gift from trustee Jim Morin and Ms. Heather Hay Morin, Howard was able to create this much needed space to provide essential support to the numerous challenges women face in their everyday lives. Not only will this center help recognize and elevate the vital role women have always played in our society, but it will serve as a critical advocacy hub to generate solutions and press for much needed change to ensure that women receive equity and fairness, equality and justice. Today, we need only look to the White House to see an example of the importance of women in our world. Vice President Kamala Harris is a testament to the significant role of women in our world, as well as to the impact women can have when we insist on cultivating a global society where all people, regardless of their gender, are given an equal opportunity to test the heights of their talents. Through the center, the experience of Howard students will be significantly enriched, and we will empower black women to continue to take their rightful place as leaders in every facet of our society and the global community. The center will prove to be a vital, indispensable, and unique institution in the global fight to increase and enshrine the rights of girls and women. The center's global council of leaders includes top women leaders from around the world, and this group of individuals is truly one of the most impressive to be found at any institution anywhere as it features diplomats, political leaders, a Nobel Peace Prize laureate, and many more inspiring figures. I have no doubt that their guidance and support will take the center to unprecedented heights and spheres of influence. Today is, of course, just the beginning. But from such promising origins, I have the utmost confidence that the Center for Women, Gender, and Global Leadership will transform communities, states, nations, and the entire world. Thank you for joining us.